Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you one of my favorite ways to introduce kids to Google Earth. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. I'm using the web version of Google Earth. This is the version that will work on your Chromebook. Let's dive into it. On the left hand side, one of my favorite features is this I'm feeling lucky function. And we're going to click on it. And it's going to take me to some random place in the world. In this case, a tourist attraction in Brazil. And a student can then go and look for more information about it. Then click on it and they can read about it. And then they can exit out of that. And what I like to have students do is do this a few times until they find a place that they are really interested in. And again, they can click through and let's say here we are in Greece I'm going to click on the map just once and I'm going to then use the peg person here to go down and explore at street level some of the area in this case here I'm going to go look I think inside this marina yeah there I am looking inside the marina and I'll exit back out of that and zoom back out. Now I can go back over here and click I'm feeling lucky one more time. And let's see where else in the world I'm going to end up. And you can see here I am now. And I can again zoom in and this is a great way for students to practice using other functions like the 3D function. And they can zoom in and look at things in 3D as they go through. Now, if I wanted students to, let's say, keep track of all these places, one thing that I could do, is once they zoom back out a little bit, I might have them go over on the left-hand side here and create a little project. And so over here on my left hand side, I'm going to click on the project button and I'm going to create a new project in Google Drive. And I'm going to call it Places I Found Through Luck. These are some neat places. And we can see here, this is automatically saving into my Google Drive. And I'm going to add a place mark now. And just add in my place mark. And then I can write what it is that I liked about this. Let's say I liked exploring the mountains in this area. I want to rename my place mark from untitled place mark and I'm going to put in the actual place name and I want to refine that just a little bit so I'm going to drag it over and there it is. Now if I want to I can go in and further customize this perhaps I don't want to have blue I want to have purple as my place mark color and I want my size to be large or extra large so it's very easy to see on the map and i might have students do that for three four perhaps a handful of places that they find by using the i'm getting lucky function it's a great way for students to explore what's available in the web version of google earth as always for more things like this including lots more google earth and google maps tutorials please subscribe to my YouTube channel.